Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm gonna be in this hotel room for a month, so you will be seeing videos come from there. But today I wanna talk about one of the key components of language learning. Hopefully this is not moving around too much. One of the key components of language learning. And before I tell you what it is, um, I wanna go over the definitions of output and input in, re in relation to language learning. So input can be anything that you're listening to, any, any phrases, um, if you see someone say a set phrase, sometimes they have like a different tone when they go up or the way that they move their head when they're talking, that's going to be all input. You're gathering information. Output is going to be anything that you say when you're speaking. Um, I mean, that's about it, you know, with your body language, whatever, anything that goes out. And so a lot of YouTubers and a lot of teachers think that output is the biggest um the biggest cause for language learning, you need to speak, you need to speak. And some are like, no, no, it's all input. Like once you have enough input, you'll be able to talk. And of course the truth of what it is lies somewhere in between because there's gonna be at points where you need a lot of input and then there's gonna be points where you need a lot of output. And I will say this, as a teacher, usually students have a harder time with output. So usually they do need more output because input yeah you could just turn on a show or turn on a podcast or listen that's the easier one the, the one that is you require a different person there and you need to speak and it's kind of scary is the output and that's the one that so many people have trouble with and so the key component is input that is affected by your output sort of like a feedback so the reason why this is one of the biggest components of language learning is because language learning in itself at its core is failing many, many times that you're trying to listen to something. You don't understand it. Maybe next time you will, you're speaking, the person doesn't know. Okay. You change it. Then you say, it. it's like, Oh, now it makes sense. It's all about trying, 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 trying. Think of a kid from one to five, how many times they say stuff wrong and they're just continually failing. But okay, that's not how you say it. That's not how you say it. Okay, this is how you say it. Or what about this other thing? It just keeps going, that you're just learning and learning and learning. And so the reason why feedback is so important is because a lot of people will, a lot of language learners will speak to themselves. I've done this before, where you speak to yourself in a different language, so you try to go through different scenarios. So if you're like at a restaurant or you're ordering something and you're like, oh, I'll just do it in my head and I'll try to practice that way. And it can be a good exercise in your toolkit. But I would say that the most pragmatic approach to this really is saying something doesn't make sense, getting the feedback, getting the input back and saying, okay, if that does make sense, cool. If it doesn't, output again, input still doesn't make sense. I'll put input until it makes sense. And then when it does make sense, you retain that. And so I don't see a lot of people doing this. I see a lot of people reading. I see a lot of people having a lot of input. I see a lot of people having output, but for example, Duolingo. Um, Duolingo has gotten a lot of hate in the language learning community and a lot of people love it. I think that Duolingo is, learning based apps are good to be in your toolkit. Your whole program shouldn't revolve around it. You can't get fluent from Duolingo, but what it does provide is that at any time, it provides a free platform where you can input something, right? It asks you a question, how do you say this? And then you get feedback. That's really important. Yes or no. Because if we spend a lot of time kind of like in imaginary land where we're like, oh, I think that's probably how I would say it if I were in the occasion. It's like, no, do it. Action. It's like if you've ever read uh, the book by Ray Dalio and on investing, I mean, he talks about how like life is almost like you create a hypothesis, you test it, and then you see the result. And then you create another one if it didn't work and another one. It's just a cycle. So this is going to help boost your language learning by 100%, you need to find a way to get feedback. Whether it's through a language partner, through an app, language partner obviously is the best because it's real time, it's right there. But if you need to text, and it's that's the way to do it. So hopefully this video made sense, and I will see you guys in the next one.